Hi, this is Kevin for Sonovert.com. What I want to do in this video is more cleaning up an acapella. We're going to be looking at using a number of different dialogues within Audition CS 5.5 to help us clean up the acapella. First thing I want to look at is this really colorful display, which is the spectral frequency display or the color bomb or whatever you want to call it and what this shows us is the frequency of the song that we're dealing with as well as the volume the frequency is shown on the on the vertical scale and the volume is shown as color the higher the volume the brighter the color now when you get to reading the spectral frequency display you get to see individual instruments and individual notes if you look at these bright colored lines that are running across the image these are individual notes played by high-pitched instruments and if you ever listen to uh, the song the crossroads you'll be able to instantly recognize these instruments these high-pitched bells now what I want to do is to remove those instruments and I'm going to do that using one of the Photoshop tools I'm going to use the free select tool and I'm just basically going to draw around one of the nodes and what we want to do is to use the noise capture and removal dialog to actually remove that particular instrument throughout the song now this is what the actual captured sound looks like what I'm going to do is to look at these settings that we've got here and as long as those are reasonably good we can then continue however if I want to really sample a sound like this I need to choose the correct FFT settings and usually with longer signals that cover very short frequencies higher FFT settings are better than lower FFT settings so I've chosen a higher FFT settings and I've got a slightly different capture here and I'm just gonna basically tighten up the graph and see what happens when we try to remove that particular signal and as you can see there it's been reasonably successful but I want to apply that right across the entire file so now what should happen is that we should have that particular note from that particular instrument removed from the entire song and that's more or less what we've achieved there this particular instrument is playing at different frequencies throughout the song and might take a bit of time to actually remove all those notes so what I'm going to do is to use the King Kong approach which is to use the rectangle select tool or the marquee tool and what that does is it allows us to select a large area covering the same frequency and when we hit the delete button it deletes everything within that frequency it does so wherever we place the selection so we can go through and find every place where that particular instrument is appearing and very quickly remove everything so that's a different way of removing particular instruments from the mix now what we've looked at so far is what I like to think of as the softer options for cleaning up an acapella and I want to move on to the really really big hitters these are the center channel extraction dialog and also the FFT filter the first thing I want to do is to bring up the center channel uh, extractor so I'm going to call up that effect and what I've done is set up my own preset uh, my own acapella preset which has got settings that I trust and if I apply that what it should do is that it should eliminate a very large chunk of the frequencies where we've got a dominance of instruments over voice now the settings that you're going to use in the center channel extractor are going to really depend on what you are doing with your particular track and in this regard I strongly recommend trying to get knowledgeable about the kind of mixing technology and the kind of mixing techniques used in different uh, time periods now what I want to do next is to go to a filter which is the FFT filter and again I've set up a frequency curve here which is really based upon the particular track that I'm working with I'm trying to emphasize the voice and we're trying to bring down the high frequencies and low frequencies where the voice tends to be fairly weak and again what you do here will depend entirely on what you're working on and what your objectives are so that's a few interesting techniques for cleaning up acapellas I hope you found that useful I'm off to a party so I'll see you later take care bye <laughs>